Hello guys! Today I will teach you how to make free materials fabric from the armchair, leather for the pillow and wood for the chair legs. This video is a free lesson from my V-Ray for SketchUp course which will help you to improve your rendering skills. Link to the course is in the description of this video. Let's get started! Let's create next material for chair. I will focus on the fabric. I go to the asset editor and create new generic material. I will rename it to V-Ray Fabric. Let's go to the folder with maps. Let's say that I prepare four maps for armchair. Here we have darker fabric map, brighter fabric map, we have map for mix map and bump. Firstly, I will focus on diffuse. I click on the texture slot and then I choose mix map. At the beginning, I will upload the mix map over here. I click on the texture slot, bitmap, and then I choose armchair diffuse mix map. Okay, I go to the previous asset and let's see that I can create a texture according to the bitmap. If I change the color, for example, to red and blue, we can notice that our texture from MixMap has red and blue color. In color top, I would like to upload the texture. It will be complex map, that's why I click on the texture slot and choose fall off. Using fall off, we can set the gradient between two colors or two textures. In color A, I will upload darker texture and in color B, brighter texture. Thanks to it, I will have a gradient between darker and brighter color. I click on the texture slot, bitmap and open armchair diffuse map. I go to the previous asset and in color B, I will upload brighter map this one. I open and I go to the previous asset and let's see that we have a gradient. In the center I have a darker map and here the map is brighter. Thanks to this I will get very realistic effect. I go to the previous asset and let's see that at the color top I have a fall off map. To color bottom, I will copy created fall off map. That's why I right click, choose copy, and paste it to color bottom. Right click and paste this copy. But let's see that I have two the same fall off maps. One of them should be darker, and second one should be brighter. That's why I will brighten color top map. To do this, I will use color correction. That's why I right click, choose Rubbin and color correction. Thanks to this, I will brighten the fall off from color A. I go to the lightness mode, change the mode to gain gamma lift and change the gain to 1.1 and gamma to 1.1. And our fall off map is a little bit brighter. I go to the previous asset and let's see that color top is brighter, color bottom is darker and we can notice a little darker spots over here. Thanks to this our material will be very realistic with darker and brighter parts. And I go to the previous asset. I will focus on a bump, that's why I expand this tab and upload texture. I click on bitmap and choose armchair bump map. I open it. Remember if you are uploading purple map, you should change color space to rendering space linear. And I go to the previous asset. Here I will change the mode map to normal map and I can increase or decrease this amount. I will set it to 0.2. Everything is done. I will apply this material to the armchair. I double click on it, I select this element and apply 
material. Okay, I come a little closer and I need to change the mapping. To do this, I go to the Edit tab and change the size. Let's check higher value. I think that 2540 centimeter looks fine. The render looks very realistic. We can notice some darker spots. That's why material has very high quality. Let's move on and create the next material for the cloth. I go to the asset editor and create new material. It will be V-Ray blanket material. Let's upload the map to the diffuse tab, but remember that if you want to get realistic effect, we can use fall of map is over here. And now I would like to create gradient between two colors or two textures. Color A should be darker. That's why I upload the map blanket. This one will be darker material. I go to the previous asset and in color B, I upload the same map. This one will be lighter. I change the space to linear and I get brighter map. I go to the previous asset and I have a gradient between darker and brighter material. I go to the previous asset. I can change the preview. Just click on these three vertical dots and choose fabric. Let's see that the preview looks much better. Then I go to the bump tab and I will create a bump from the diffuse map. I click on the texture slot, choose bitmap, and then again, I will upload the same map. I go to the previous asset, but this time I will change the color using color correction. I right click on the texture slot, rub in, and color correction. Firstly, I will desaturate the map. Now we have gray colors and I will increase contrast. Let's see that the map looks much better for bump. I will decrease the intensity to 0.14. Mostly I said 0.1 or 0.2. I double click on the chair and apply material to the blanket. Let's change the dimension to 254 and it looks much better. Remember that we can fix mapping. Just click on this icon, three planner projection words and wait a second. Let's see that the mapping looks much better now. Okay, let's check the render. But before I do that, I think that this mapping from the armchair is too large. I click on the material icon over here, press left alt and change the dimension. Let's try with 500, maybe 1000, 1500. Okay, I think that it looks much better now. And let's check the materials. I think that it looks much better now. We have blank material and armchair material. It looks very nice. It's time to create material for the pillow. It will be leather material. I create this material from scratch. I choose generic material, rename it to V-Ray pillow and apply map or diffuse tab. It will be pillow diffuse map. This is simple leather material, but I would like to change the color of this pillow. Firstly, I will apply this material to the model. I click on the pillow and choose three planner projection words to fix the mapping. And I increase dimension to 254. I think it looks fine. Let's check the color only on the render. Okay, this is the color of the pillow. I would like to change that. That's why I will use color correction. I right click on the texture slot, choose rubbing and color correction. I will increase saturation a little. I can change the hue to have more red color. 
maybe minus two, and I will darker the map. I change to gain gamma leaf, and I set to 0 0.9 gain and gamma. Okay, let's see that the color is more intense, and then I go to the reflections. This is leather material, that's why we need some reflection. Firstly, I will set reflection color somewhere here, not very intense reflections, something around 120. And I change reflection glossiness. For now, these reflections are too sharp, that's why I will apply material, I will apply the map. This is pillow reflection glossiness map. This is similar map to the diffuse map, but it's lighter and in gray color. So using color correction, you can create this map for reflection glossiness. I go to the previous asset, and this is the material. Let's take a look on the render. I think that this material is too reflective. That's why I will darken the map from reflection glossiness. To do this, I click on the texture slots and I will change the color space to custom gamma curve. Changing gamma value, we can brighter or darken the map. If I decrease this value, the map is darker. I will set it to 0 0.2. Okay, and it's less visible. Let's check again. Okay, and this pillow looks much better. We can compare the results. On the left side, we have map without reflections. On the right side, this is map where reflections are too intense. And now on the left side, let's see that the reflections are less visible and more natural because I've changed the color of reflection glossiness map. And let's move on to the bump. I expand this tab. I will upload the same map as I uploaded to reflection glossiness, this pillow reflection glossiness, but I will use color correction to have darker map with more contrast. Right click, rub in, and color correction. Okay, I will change the brightness and contrast. Okay. And, it's, and we have more contrast in the map. It looks fine. And let's change the intensity of the bump. It will be very low value, something around 0, 0, 004. And let's check the render. Let's see that because I've added bump, the reflections are less visible. That's why I will decrease the bump value and increase just a little bit reflection color. And let's render again. And it looks much better now. We can compare the results. On the right side, this is the final result. Reflections are visible, they are not too intense, we have a slight bump effect, everything looks right. Let's move on and create wooden material for armchair. I will do this using only one diffuse map. Let's rename it to V-Ray Wooden Armchair. Firstly, I will upload the map. It will be chair wood material. That's all. And then I apply this material to the chair over here. I click on the material and apply it. Let's see how it looks like. I think it's fine. I can change the dimensions. The dimensions are a little bit weird, but I will leave it as it is. For example, 0 0.8 centimeters looks fine. Let's see that direction looks properly. That's why I don't want to use tree planner projection word to fix it, because then we will get the same mapping on each element. So I'll leave it as it is. Okay, let's check the render. For now, I haven't created reflections, but I would like to see the difference. That's our render. It looks very good, very realistic, but we should add reflections. That's why I go to the asset editor to reflection color, and I will set the values, which I use very often for the wood. 
something in the middle, 160 in RGB color mode, and reflection glossiness, I set it to 0 0.7. And that's all. Let's check the render again. This is our render. I can compare the wood material. On the left side, I have woods without reflections, and on the right side, this material has reflections. We can see the difference. This one on the right side looks much better. So remember about reflections.